What about today? Today I'm off to Soltex in Birmingham. We're going to get the plane over me and down here. I'm just standing here. It's early doors, dark outside. I'm waiting on my taxi to come pick me up. We're going to go to our local airport, fly over to Birmingham. I go to Soltex, the network. Good chance for Danny and myself to see new tools, what's new in the industry, hopefully catch up on some seminars, and more importantly, do some really good networking. Let's go. We arrived a bit early this morning, found that our plane is going to be late taking off. No good. So something I've noticed in my time here, just at the city airport, nice to see that they take their lawn care seriously. Airside out there, the lawns out there are all the place striped up. Happy days, well done to the airport. I'm just here with Jack at the Milwaukee stand at Soltex, and Jack's going to talk us through some of the new tools coming out from Milwaukee. Go ahead Jack. Cheers Robbie. So one of the new tools that's releasing in 2023 is the Milwaukee M18 pruning saw. Now this is an upgrade on the current M12 pruning saw we have. Some of the features are a 20 centimeter bar, now that's a 5 centimeter upgrade. We also have it on the M18 battery platform. Now this is our most popular battery platform with almost 300 tools available on this system. This will give you an extended runtime, extended power. One also nice little feature is the little switch here. Now this has been a sort of ease of use upgrade that we've done. As we found out from users, it's much easier to push down on a trigger than it is to push in. So that's everything you need to know on the pruning saw. Another product we have with us is the M18 top handle chainsaw. Now we have two sizes available, a 30 and 35 centimeter. Yep. This is really used for arborists and tree surgeons as it's got the top handle. So we have a range of rear handles. This is sort of filling out the range so we can provide solutions for more people that work in tree care. Grounds Management Association, for those that don't know, owns Soltex, which is the show that you see in front of you today. And uh, we're in our 76th year now, running the trade show. It's been a great event again this, this year. We had great numbers yesterday. I think it's pretty busy if you look down that way at the moment. And uh, what's good about the show is we're a not-for-profit and all the money that's invested by the exhibitors on the show floor go back into the further education and the development of uh, professionals in the industry and the volunteers that we work with through the governing bodies of sport. Um, helping to improve pitches, helping to get awareness of grounds maintenance te techniques and uh, building the profile really of this sector and um, I certainly think this location has, has landed that as well. Hi, so we're here at the Soltex today. We've got lots of different speakers arranging from interesting talks about UEFA um, grounds to um, turf and water restrictions that might be happening in the area. Um, so yeah, lots of interesting talks and interesting people to listen to. I'm with Tom Arnold from the Long Care Association. We're just finding out the about the really important work these guys do, the mini form. Go ahead, Tom. So uh, we've had a meeting today, a uh, presentation, and uh, as part of the mini forum, we've had some representatives from golf and from, from uh, highway weed control as well, and uh, myself from the UK lawn care industry. And we've just been talking about how what what are the key issues in in our in different industries, yep. and you know the key link between us is that we all use herbicides or fungicides, insecticides in in some format or other um, in the immunity area. Here's Mick from Mix Moors. Make sure you check. I'll leave a link to Mix Moors down down below. Make sure you check How it you out. How are you doing, guys? Mick's responsible for getting over 1,000 subscribers, Mick. Many yep, years yep. ago now, yep, and, and yep. you have since overtaken me, and you're heading right up there in the sky. Fantastic, mate. What an achievement, eh? Yep. So, so Same to yourself, same to yourself, Mike. I'm getting there, yeah. I'm getting 100%. there. Yeah, I'm 100%, getting there. yeah. Um, yeah. So how are you finding, with regards to when I, when I saw you the first time, you were grass cutting, grass cutting, yep. grass cutting, Gr now you seem to be doing videos, 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 not so much of a grass cutting. <laughs> not so much grass cutting, yeah, but it was a, but it was a couple of days a week. 
Better well, a couple of days away. As long as you're happy. Yep. That's, what, yep. that's all that matters. Thanks very much. So that's day one complete in the show. We've met some pretty interesting people. Now Danny and I are going to have to go and find our way to our hotel. We're going to meet some people later on for dinner and drinks. Let's go. The cool light of day. Welcome back, guys. So last night went out for dinner with a few other channels. It's always really good to network with people. So I'm going to leave a picture down below. We left the camera at home because we're out for a few drinks and enjoy ourselves. So really good to meet people. I'm a great believer that networking is absolutely key whatever business you're in. So it was a good chance to meet a lot of the other channels because you see a lot of channels, Instagram channels and TikTokers and you don't really know people. So it's always good to put a, a face to them. Hopefully we can all do something in the future. So me and Danny, we're going to jump the taxi and head to the show for day two. Let's go. Day two, back at Soltex, let's go. I'm at the perennial stand with Kate, and Kate's going to talk us through the absolutely amazing work that these guys do. Hello, I'm Kate Cooney from Perennial and we are the trade charity for the industry and sadly I still think in some ways we're the industry's best kept secret. Uh, we look after everybody that works in horticulture, so whether you work with trees, flowers, grass, turf, we're your trade charity and we kind of help in three ways, we provide information and support and the, the three key areas are your financial well-being, your mental health well-being and your physical health well-being. We've been around since 1839, so we've been doing it for a long time. But as I say, we really need the industry to get on board, tell people about us. There are too many people that are suffering unnecessarily. And when I help, and what we're trying to do is have early interventions. So we will pull people out of the water when they're drowning. I, th I, think I think this next year is going to be particularly hard and there's going to be a lot of small businesses that maybe don't know that you guys are there or even that they should come to you early, like yes. early on. You're like a, nearly like a lighthouse and you, yes. you can show people the benefits and, uh, and it, it help them get benefits that they might not necessarily know that they're... Last year we helped secure um, almost £2 million in benefits that people didn't know they were entitled to. We also have our debt advisors that are professionally financially qualified people that can help look and unravel all the debt. And what we say to people is, yes, if you're going to be repossessed or we will help you, but it's better to come to us when you're worried about the first letter from the Inland Revenue or whether you're worried about a pho your phone bill. And now, of course, there's heating versus eating issue that's happening. And we also have, uh, we've introduced two new apps um, that can help people because we know that it's a proud, hard-working industry, predominantly male-dominated. People, people to want to reach out for help or people feel that maybe there's that embarrassment about reaching out for help, isn't there? So. There is absolutely no need. As I say, we've been around for a very long time. We look after people in horticulture. We've heard our caseworkers have heard it and seen it all before. Yeah. They're absolutely non-judgmental. The service is absolutely confidential, and the service is absolutely free. Yeah. Um, it is more beneficial on, for all parties if we help solve problems early on rather than later on. And that's why we're saying go out the best thing you can do for perennial is tell people about it and make them feel comfortable to get in touch should they yeah. need us so just had i had a really good chat with kate there and i don't usually talk about mental health and those types of things on my channel but if you are having any issues 100 percent reach out to perennial they are, they're a really really good charity and they are there to help us I'm with James here from Machinery Nation. Just uh, you, ne you never, I'm just doing a quick blog. You never know, you never know what Red Rachel blog you'll bump into this show. Oh, that's so, yeah. You have a good dinner last night, James. I had an amazing dinner last night. Unfortunately, Robbie didn't pay for it, but I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> so that's us just coming to the end of Soltex. I'm gonna get my bags, gonna go for a pint, and then we're gonna fly home. If you've watched the video this far, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.